Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel, the number one YouTube channel to help you level up your communication skills, learn the art of public speaking, social skills, and digital content creation to take your message to the world. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit subscribe right on below for the latest videos regarding how you can communicate with confidence and charisma. For today's episode, we're going to be deep diving into the levels of communication. Your, your mind. Your mind is something that needs clarity. And when you don't give it clarity, you know what happens? It starts going all in disarray. And you know what a disarrayed mind leads to? It leads to emotional imbalances within. You feel off. And when you feel off internally, you know what happens? Your external world becomes very, very chaotic. The problem that a lot of people have with communication skills is that they're not quite sure what it is. They think it's a level of speaking, and it is, don't get me wrong, but they don't understand the nuances of it. And when you don't understand the different levels that are involved in communication skills, then you are setting yourself up for mission impossible. You're making your mind very, very chaotic, and your internal world is going to be chaotic, and unfortunately, your communication skills will suffer. In today's video, I'm going to give you the three levels of communication to make sure that you're giving your mind the much needed clarity that it deserves. Level one, communication with yourself. Level two, one-on-one -on -one communication. And level three, communication at scale. We're going to be going through each three of these and we're going to be giving you that clarity. So let's break down the first one. Level one, communication with yourself. Yep, this is where it all begins. When you think of communication skills, most people, most communication experts, they teach you how to communicate with others from the get-go. And when you start doing that, what happens is you're building a house on a very, very weak frame. Your base is very weak. And when your base is very weak, what's going to happen? That house is going to come crashing on down like Humpty Dumpty. That's just what's going to happen because you haven't built the foundations. Communication with yourself is huge because you have to understand how your internal voice works. You have to understand how your emotions work. You have to understand how your mind can work with your emotions. Because think of it like this. If you are someone who has a lot of anxiety, if you're feeling like a mess all the time, especially when you're by yourself, how do you think other people are going to feel when you're trying to speak to them? They're going to feel that at a certain point, you don't have complete confidence within yourself. You have a lot of knots within, which is preventing you from communicating harmoniously with the world. So communication with yourself is huge. And one of the best ways to do this, to understand yourself on a deeper level, is to meditate or to journal. By doing that, you get to understand how your thoughts work in a much deeper level. And when you're journaling, what's going to happen is you start understanding your inner voice. When you start seeing your thoughts on paper, that's when you start seeing, hmm, so this is how I think, huh? And when you understand how you think, that's when you are taking one level in level one. You are making a solid step in communication with yourself. Part one. Part two, one-on-one -on -one interactions. Now, when you're starting to get a good grasp of level one, what's going to happen is level two is going to feel much, much easier. Having one-on-one -on -one conversations with other people is going to feel much better because at this point, you know yourself. You're not over here being some nice guy trying to gain this person's approval. You're not this person switching their opinions left and right because you don't even know where you stand on certain issues. You're not someone that's fidgeting, being nervous, being very, very socially awkward because you know yourself in a deeper level. You are entering each social interaction feeling whole. And when you feel whole, now you feel much more comfortable in one-on-one -on -one interactions. You're much more present. Because guess what? In level one, what you were doing 
was that you're learning to empathize with yourself. And when you can empathize with yourself, now you can really empathize with others. This is what's going to allow you to become a much better communicator in one-on-one -on -one interactions. Now, level three is when you communicate at scale. Now, communicating at scale has different levels to it. In itself, I call it sub-levels. Picture yourself talking in a group. That's you speaking at scale. Your message is being heard by multiple minds. Picture yourself public speaking. This is another case of you communicating at scale. Picture yourself recording a YouTube video that's going to be heard by 10, 20, 30, 40, hundreds of people. Communicating at scale. Now, communicating at scale becomes much, much easier once you have built the foundation of level one of understanding yourself. You have created your voice and you have understood your voice in the first stage. You have built a strong foundation and now the house is going to be resting on solid frameworks. And those are the three levels of communication. One thing that I want you to understand is that all three of these levels are never something that's fully learned. You're going to constantly be learning and learning and learning it for the rest of your life. I'm going to tell you straight up right now. You will never have perfect communication skills. Whoever tells you that is lying. You know why? Because for level one, you're not, never going to fully understand your voice. Your voice is evolving. It's going to consistently keep on evolving with new experiences that you're adding on onto your life. For level two, you're always going to be speaking to more and more different kinds of personalities. All humans are different. And each time that you have a new conversation, each time you add more social perspective. For level three, you're always going to be scaling your messages to different audiences. More and more people are going to discover you and more and more people are going to hear your ever growing message. Whoever told you that communication skills are something that you learn and then you just put it <laughs> in, in your back pocket is making a huge mistake. Communication skills is something that you're going to have to invest your life to. You're going to have to keep on improving it day in and day out. There's going to be certain times where you have a certain message and you're not feeling comfortable getting it out. Good. Learn from it. There's going to be certain times you're talking to a certain personality who's pretty difficult. Good. Learn from it. There's going to be certain times when you're giving a speech and the crowd doesn't seem interested. Good. Learn from it. Each experience that you have in the communication world is good. I actually see it as win-win. I never see a communication lesson in a bad way. There's going to be times when you lose your cool. Good. Learn from it. Every single thing is eventually going to serve as data. And each data that you have with another party or yourself is going to make you a better communications person. Now your brain understands that communications isn't something that is going to ever be finite. It's going to be something that's infinite. All right. So once you adopt this mentality, you're going to adopt a level of mantra towards this evergreen art. Communication skills is by far one of the most important skill sets that you can ever invest in, whether it's public speaking, storytelling, learning social skills, content creation. These are skills that allow you to build your legacy and allow your message to be heard by different parties. This is a skill that you want to invest in. And if you're wanting to level it up even further, hopefully this video helped, but make sure you don't forget to sign up for my free newsletter where I drop insights like this on the daily. I share my lessons learned through story format so it's easy, easy to digest and you're feeling really entertained in the process. What better way to learn than to be fooled into it? Yep, I said fooled because you're having fun, but believe it or not, I'm teaching you as well. All in the Armani Talks newsletter. Sign up in the description box right on below. Thank you, my friend, for joining the Armani Talks YouTube episode, and I'll catch you next time.